Pokemon Trainer and Wolf. Uh, so this matchup, you know, uh, I think is pretty good for Trainer. Uh, you know, all the spaces are pretty susceptible to, you know, their archetype. They get you knock them off stage, and you know, you try to give them a bad time. Uh, Squirtle, he's a fast faller, so Squirtle can take advantage of some interestingly fast faller specific combo game. You know, can be pretty good, pretty potent versus them. But Bao doing a really good job of just not letting him get what he wants, just keeping him out. He's just like, yeah, no, you're only get, you're only gonna get those stray hits. All right, I'll take only 20 damage. You don't actually do a lot of damage unless you string it together. I see you, little baby turtle. Ooh, but Noku finally maybe gonna get something. Also, the fact that like uh, you have to at like the at like actual zero, there's you have to like make sure you're on point for what you're doing for your combos with Squirtle. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, Going Ivysaur now, uh, too high percent for Squirtle to be here. Also, the percent did eventually get high enough, but getting up to the off the top, so we're out of here. Ooh, yes, no, why'd you run away from? Me? Go get him. He was too low to do side B, so he had one option. All right, hilarious. Okay, ooh. All right, so you see that that instant like transform? That is confidence right there. Because I wasn't 100% convinced that he actually died. But he knew. He was just like, nah, you're up. He's not going to make it. And now we're getting some of that good damage. Squirrel for the early percent. Oh. All right. I like uh, Bao going for the early recovery and just, like, going straight in. Because, you know, you know that the other person is thinking that, like, you're applying some pressure to him. So, like, you're going to affect their movement. He's like, nah. Go right through and get him. Now, at a relatively even percent, uh, both characters very well equipped to get a kill, and get a kill they do. Noku going to take that second stock with a Razor Leaf up air. Ooh. All right. Went for the re-grab on the ledge, but excellent timing when he went away. Uh, didn't get punished for it and was able to make it past him. Uh, about a little bit too slow there to get that down smash. Okay. So now we're in that situation where it's just like, uh, yeah, I took the stock, but I didn't do any damage. So Bao actually going to even up these stocks and percentages at the same time. So, ooh, ooh, getting a little bit of those strings going on there. This is always that, that scary time because, like, once you lose, like, the first few neutral exchanges of Squirtle, you're like, okay, how do I want to keep going with this? But Noku, oh, man, very confident in his ability and doing real doing a lot of damage, getting him just high enough where he's just like, all right, Ivysaur, you are now tall enough for this ride. Let's go. <gasps> Ooh. That's not going to be it. I suppose so. I like the idea that Bao is trying to stay inside him. Ooh. Scary air dodge. Yeah, we up air from the bottom left of the screen. We do that. All right, so Noku taking game one. Uh, going to be getting rid of Kalos and FD. Interesting. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's just, like, purely to the strengths of uh, of Wolf. But, like, at least I personally think that those stages are fantastic for Trainer. Especially versus a character that you want to, like, gimp off stage. But either way, going right back to PS2. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see if Bo is able to reflect on anything. I didn't like that back row, but it did, it it worked out for him. Mm. Okay. All right, not giving Noku the window that he needs, but so it's like it's like I said, you know. Uh, it's like those low percent combos on the uh, on fast fallers, really good. Now we're at that percent where like baby could you know pop. So Noku actually just gonna opt go in Ivy Surge is like I'll take care of the rest. Don't worry, got you. It's not worth to like just force that initial game plan. You know you really have to like separate your game plans as trainer. And yeah, Noku doing a really fantastic job of evening up these percents here. Uh.
Yeah, Dre, Maladji, so then if anything stupid happens in the chat again, I got you to help me. All right. Okay. So Noku kind of read that role in there, but uh, he was not, like, super confident in it. <gasps> getting hit, oh, getting hit by the toes twice. Scooped in by them and then killed. But going to immediately retaliate with Charizard forward throw. He's like, get out of here. Chalk him. Late hit of forward smash, or like from behind, has like a really weird hitbox. By late, I just mean like kind of behind it. It's weird. All right. Still some pretty even percents. Yeah, we'll wish it said. Ugh. Ooh. All right, Foul going looking for a tech uh, tech chase read. Uh, okay. Ooh. I re I actually really like that high recovery read there because yeah, that would have just taken that socket right immediately, and it's like go for it. <coughs> okay. Definitely getting into those scary percents. Noku opting to go Charizard. He knows that if he gets hit by the big boy hits, at least he can, like, kind of take him with the chunk. Ooh. <gasps> All right. That's not. That that might be it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's got a lot of rage. What am I talking about? <clears throat> okay. So, uh, Noku going to take that stock. I. Th yeah, he's probably going to stay on Charizard to try and get some extra damage. But uh, big body gets scooped, and that move is definitely going to kill. So, evening it up, but now you know, these guys are just going to take turns, like, just building mad damage on each other. Okay. Oh, no, just should have water gunned again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you had enough time. Definitely going <laughs> to. All right. Anyway. There we go. 